We have major developments in a Target 12 investigators exclusive Hidden House Rep. Stripped from the Providence voting rolls, the Providence Board of Canvassers voting to nullify in Battle State Representative John Carnevale's voter registration. Now the Secretary of State says she is not going to put Carnevale on the ballot unless the State Board of Elections overturns that decision. And this bombshell comes after a Target 12 investigation last month that raised serious questions about whether the Providence lawmaker lives in the city or at a Johnston home he owns outside of his district. Target 12 investigator Tim White was at the hearing and is here now with the latest developments. State Representative John Carnevale was seeking a fifth term in District 13 Providence, but today's decision by city election officials may have ended his re-election hopes. Does, we're just trying to gather as much. In a hearing that ran roughly two hours, members of the Providence Board of Canvassers heard testimony from Providence Police Lieutenant Richard Fernandez, who says Carnavali asked him to intentionally write him parking tickets, ostensibly to help prove that Carnavali lives in Providence. And the request being uh, so abnormal that I felt that the, uh, I had, should pass it along to the uh, my superior offices. I do. Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says Carnavali, a retired officer, should know better. It's rare and it's odd, and I take offense for him trying to use the Providence Police in that capacity. He shouldn't do that as a retired member, and I take it serious. Carnavali initially declined to answer questions about the ticket scandal, but was forced to testify, saying the lieutenant had it wrong. On the date that you see here, I was having problems with a motor vehicle. I wanted to leave it in front of 150 Barber Street and not have it tagged. Under some tough questioning by board attorney Ken Cheverini, Carnavali says he sleeps in the basement of the Providence home below a unit he rents to two people who also have a child. So you'd agree with me that this is a bit of an unusual living arrangement that you currently have? No, I don't think it's unusual. I would make a motion that he does not reside at that address. In the end, the two-member board voted they do not believe Carnavali lives in Providence. Carnavali says he is still considering whether or not he will appeal the decision. I would say approximately 100 people have contacted me, whether by emails, uh, text messages, coming to my house, uh, phone calls, and uh, urging me on to continue to run. State GOP Chairman Brandon Bell brought the challenge in the wake of a Target 12 report. This should send a, a loud and clear message, zero tolerance. Uh, this is corruption, and there, there should be zero tolerance for this type of activity. Carnavali says he will likely announce whether or not he's going to appeal to the State Board of Elections, but House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello issued a statement a short time ago urging him not to appeal and end his campaign for re-election. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.